Not after nine, nine o'clock. o'clock. <laughs> Woo! Shh. Dare she lied. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, it's WrestleMania week. It's in full gear. This is a little segment that we're putting together of the different WrestleManias that we've been to that have had some kind of impact on our lives, whether it's something funny, something serious, or just it was a wonderful time. So it's our experience, not necessarily wrestling. Richie's been to 12 of them. I've been to three, and I believe we're going to talk about WrestleMania 33. 33. 33, 33 yes. today. So, um, and the others, you saw me cooking, and now I'm going to clean while we talk. So we're moving a little bit and not all sedentary and you're staring at nothing. Mm -hmm. What? What are you going to um, say? Yeah, she wasn't there, but she had some involvement in this one. <laughs> I'll let him talk about it. Go um, ahead. So, WrestleMania 33, 33. Yeah, so talk I know, to the people. Uh, WrestleMania 33. Um, I didn't get a package uh, from the WWE. Did it on my own. Cause I, th I think it was cheaper doing it on my own. Doing it, me and my dad doing it on our own. Um, so, got the NXT show, Raw show, WrestleMania, of course. Didn't go to the Hall of Fame. I rather, I rather wanted to go to uh, Universal. That year, I'm a big, I love going to Universal Studios in Orlando. And Islands of Adventure. And Islands of Adventure. Um, so, yeah, so we got tickets off of Ticketmaster. Well, the day of the pre-sale pre for both NXT, uh, WrestleMania and Raw. Um, and Access. Keep forgetting Access. Um, but the uh, first day we got there was a Thursday. And we landed, got a car, got a rent, got our rental car, went to Cracker Barrel, ate breakfast. Um, we do love our Cracker Barrel. Went to Whole Foods, and then also a vitamin shop. Then we call up them suites that we're staying on at, and they never answered the phone. Oh, I remember this. And. My dad called once, called twice. Instead of calling, the second time he called, he left the phone ring while he went inside the uh, MC Suites. <laughs> the uh, lady goes, can I help you? She, my dad goes, can you pick up the phone? <laughs> he, she apologized. She was a old lady. Um, nothing against anybody. Um, so she... Uh, our room was ready. We checked in. My dad, we got to our room. I said, Dad, I'm going to go to the convention center where they had the superstore. Didn't realize it was a four-mile walk back and forth, two miles each way. You know what you just sounded like? When the older generation goes, I went to school uphill both ways. That's yeah, but now, like. yeah, but... <laughs> And it was snowing too. Yeah, but <laughs> I should have took the car. Let's put it that way, because it took me about with going into the store about two two hours. <laughs> dad thought you got lost, didn't he? And he was. And my dad called me a couple times saying, "Where are you?" <laughs> but I got I I one of those people that I got to get the souvenirs. If I go anywhere, I got to get the souvenirs first because I want to, if I'm at a theme park or if I'm at a show, a sporting event, I got to get the, get the thing, get everything for, at a sporting, sorry, at a sporting event, I got to get it last before I leave. Almost any event, whenever we go somewhere, we got to get the souvenirs first. first. So that way, A, when we pack the bag, we're good. Yeah. And B, we know what we have and then we can just enjoy and not have to worry about getting everything. And C, we, C, we don't have to. Carry it, lug it, lug it, lug it around anywhere. That's very true. So, came back. We're going to Access that night anyway. And my dad goes, why did you walk this far? Just take the car, he said. And I was like, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> and so, 
We went to Access that night. Was pretty good. Got got autographs. Saw Ric Flair's uh, stat, uh, statue be re re revealed. Um, metal, met Eric Bischoff, Luke Harper, uh, Paul Cruz, Jim Cornette, Teddy Long, Ron Simmons. I don't think who else. Freebirds, Sheamus, Cesaro, again. And so it was a great time going there. What It stayed there for four. It, 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 this access is a four hour session, so we were there from seven to 11. Was went, it always a four hour session? Yeah, yeah I believe so. Um, went to, uh, went back to the hotel, fell asleep. Next day we went to, uh, Universal. I always have fun at Universal. Um, just, it was a great time. Got early access to it. And then, um, Saturday we went to, uh, NXT. I, uh. Funny story was um, sitting down watch before the NXT tech takeover. Sitting down watching the uh, the taping for the, the the network at the time, but now it's on Peacock. Um, and we're I'm sitting actually I'm sitting in the handicap section, and my dad's walking around doing doing something. I have to go to the bathroom. Getting something to eat, getting a drink of water. I don't remember. He comes up to me, goes, was this wrestler on? And I forget who it was. I know it was a female because I said, no, she's on the main card, the main show. Her mother was so frightening because the first match on the, on the uh, NXT show... Uh, show that they were taping was a female match. She thought she missed her daughter wrestle for the first time. And I was like, no, she's on the main... I, she came up to me. Dad introduced me to her. and I said, no, she's on the main card. And she was so happy that she didn't... She didn't miss, miss out. Her. Yeah. Um, the card was great. That was when Rude fought uh, Nakamura. And Rude came out came out with the uh, doing pianos doing a song now isn't it true i heard through the grapevine that if usually you come out and you're have live music 90 percent is that a, that's a, that's a, that a myth? myth that's a myth that's a myth gotta, i gotta put these little things in that's it, it it seems like that and people have said that before but, but that but true. but that wasn't wrestlemania that was nxt uh, that was takeover gotcha. um and so we went back home, back to the hotel. Next day was WrestleMania. We took a bus from with the WrestleCon people. And waiting for the bus. And a couple of guys, I guess, who are workers for the WrestleCon, go, you think they're going to sell Hardy shirts tomorrow night? And remember, Hardys were not in the WWE at the time. And I'm like, I'm looking at my dad. I said, they're gonna be, they're gonna be on the show tonight. They know where they're gonna make a surprise entrance. Well, a little bit of hold, they did. Hold on, messed up, not messed up. We also want to access on a Saturday. It's not a mess up. It was oh. a while ago. You're just trying to remember. No, uh, um. So you keep going. I didn't have tickets for access, so we went to the box office to see if we can get tickets. They're all sold out. So I was a little upset, mad. My dad goes, "Come with me." And he got a worker who was working the access. Said, "My son lost his tickets. Is there any way we any way we can buy tickets?" She goes, "No." She comes up to me. Do you have the tickets on your phone? I was like, ma'am, I don't like doing it on the phone. I like the paper. Which isn't a lie. You do. Um, well, now you don't. Yeah, now you can't because they don't make it. Now everything's on yeah, the yeah, yeah, line. Uh, yeah. Um, 
So before she goes, okay, come with me. She st- puts us in the line, and we got in basically for free. But don't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell. Yeah. Mum's the word. Yeah. And so after that, <laughs> met uh, Brian Danielson, who was Daniel Bryan at the time. Met a couple other, met free, the Freebirds, a couple other people I can't remember. We we said, all right, that's me and my dad goes, all right, that's enough. We go outside. He has to use the bathroom. I'm calling my wife. And I said, that's me. And I said, can you uh, download, download this for me? Because uh, I'm not that good with doing computer stuff. She goes, I can't. I'm with my friend. I don't recall on, this, but I know he's not lying. My dad goes, DDP's in the bathroom. He wants to talk to you. I told him you do DDP yoga. He's going to come out. He wants to talk to you. I was like, okay. Well, I'm on the phone with Lindsay. Basically, I'm not throwing her on the bus. and I'm not, She's not a horrible mm. wife. Stop. She's not a horrible wife. She didn't realize that DDP wanted to talk to me. I was and, there. How do I don't know. So I just said, forget it. <laughs> Not like he didn't call you on your phone. Yeah, but that was two years earlier. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but still, he, he want to see. Like he want to see the. Pro, he want to see the pro- process, but whatever. Progress. Progress. But so going back to Sunday now, we get on the bus. We get to WrestleMania five hours before the gates open. Oh no, two hours before the gates open. So me and my dad are just walking around. Um, show was long. Couldn't see some of the shows, so I, I had my sunglasses with me. And because the lights were hitting hitting where I was sitting, put my sunglasses on for I can see some of the sh- some of the show. Then they moved the lights lights out of the way. Moved the lights. Um. So yeah, so it was. Seen the Undertaker do, seen the Undertaker wrestle. I thought it was going to be for the last time after putting his hat and coat in the middle of the ring. I think a lot well, of people thought that. Well, it was like, wow, I got to see another wrestler that I love watching retire. I saw Michaels, 26, Flair, 24. I was like, now I got to see Taker. But, um, couple, he wrestled more times. <laughs> I was going to say, spoiler alert, he didn't retire that day. No. So, how did you feel? Because you were watching at home, the show. I don't really remember a lot. I have horrible memory. You, you, you will get to know this. So, whenever Richie says that I did something, I did it. Um... And that's you, not saying usually. I, that's not saying I know everything. I just no. It's, it's just, just he has impeccable memory and it's annoying. <laughs> um, I would say, I, I, I believe I if 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 memory serves me correctly, I was texting you, going, "Did he just retire?" I uh, no. I think no. What happened was I, I know called, we texted throughout WrestleMania. I called you the next morning because I was going to. I, I could have fallen asleep too at that point. Because no, they no, always run late. You, you told me you actually teared up after you saw that. Mm. I when probably I call, did. When I called you the next morning because it well, just... not for nothing. I came in later again in life as an adult and watching wrestling. And he's been around for years. Yeah. From when I was a kid and my brother had the wrestling figures. So to me, it was a bittersweet moment. Like, yeah, he deserves to retire. But at the same time, it's like you want to see him continue with his legacy. But I don't know. I would have rather been in Orlando than here. Wasn't that the year of the snowstorm? No, that was Royal Rumble. Oh, that was just, oh, okay. That was the year after. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Spoiler. Little little tangent. Spoiler. When Triple H won the title at the Royal Rumble, when the Royal Rumble match. Yeah, what about it? That snowstorm hit, and I was in Orlando, and she mm-hmm. was up here. 
We had a what? dog at the time, may he rest in peace. And it was a German Shepherd. And it was such a bad snowstorm. He jumped and we lost him in the snowbanks. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. So that was my WrestleMania experience. Sorry about t- talking about the Royal Rumble. But for 33. So stick around and you'll see some more WrestleMania moments that we've absolutely adored or just funny anecdotes. So thank you.